It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Vaccination against COVID-19 for workers in the public and private sectors will be made mandatory in Iloilo City starting December 4. According to Section 17 of Mayor Jerry Pitreña's Executive Order 144, unvaccinated workers will be required to undergo the RT-PCR test at their own expense. Unvaccinated workers who fail to submit a negative RT-PCR test result will not be allowed to report to work. Meanwhile, workers with proof of a confirmed vaccination schedule will not be marked absent during work hours. The mandatory submission requirements was set for December 4 to give time for unvaccinated employees to secure their test results. Earlier, the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases issued Resolution 148-B, which required the COVID vaccination of employees reporting fiscally for work. Rojas City in Capiz became the first local government outside the National Capital Region allowed to procure a new COVID pill. Molnupiravir is the first oral antiviral drug clinically proven to reduce the risk of hospitalization or death due to COVID-19. Unlike other drugs who have to be taken intravenously or injected by a healthcare professional, the oral drug can be taken home and consumed immediately. A compassionate special permit was granted to Roja City by the Food and Drug Administration. On Wednesday, Mayor Ronnie Da Divas represented the city-run temporary treatment and management facility in signing the memorandum of agreement with the supplier of the oral drug. The Molnupiravir was developed by the pharmaceutical companies Ridgeback Biotherapeutics and Merck, Sharp and Dome originally to treat flu. The provinces of Negros Occidental and Antique topped the number of vaccinations for the whole of Western Visayas in the Bayanihan Bakunahan Drive. Department of Health and Region 6 Medical Officer 3, Dr. Bea Camille Natal Rai, said their daily accomplishments exceeded their target population by double or triple. Negros Occidental and Antique committed to vaccinate 50,000 and 15,000 respectively. However, Negros Occidental was able to vaccinate 68,911 on November 29 and 58,662 on November 30, while Antique had 16,591 on the first day and 15,189 the next day. Meanwhile, other LG use in the region failed to meet their targets. Natalaray attributed the low turnout to vaccine hesitancy and banned preference. Natalaray called on vaccine advocates to help explain to the public the advantages of being inoculated against the COVID-19. And those are tonight's latest headlines. And mga kapiyan, only 23 days until Christmas. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusaya Pumida. Good evening. stories, check our website, www.paninews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing. 